Welcome to the Indie Show. Yeah. Uh. Uh-huh. Everybody, welcome to the Cindy Show. We got news, gossip, and a whole lot more. Well, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and button at the door so you can get your drinks and popcorns and enjoy the show. Sit back, relax, and watch the queen speak her mind. She about to go live, so it's about that time. She always speak the truth, never drop no lies. And she always hide, bitch, look in her eyes. So, like I said before, hit the like, subscribe, and let the door. And if you're a hater, you keep that shit on the low. I know y'all been waiting a long time, so here we go. So, let me introduce y'all to Miss Andy show. Miss Andy, Miss Andy, Miss Andy, Miss Andy. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I am here to put in my two cents. Yes, I am. On what happened at the Oscars. I'm also here to let y'all hear what Mr. Judge Joe Brown had to say about it. Shall he told Jada's earth up? And I'm going to let y'all hear it. But first of all, I want to talk about a little bit of what Wanda Sykes said. Wanda Sykes says that she felt physically ill after she watched Will Smith get up and smack. The next thing that she said was almost kind of unbelievable. She said after that happened, Chris Rock spoke to her and he told her that he apologized to her for what happened because this was supposed to have been her night. You know what? Chris is a stand up dude. He's a stand-up dude all the way around the board. I commend him for keeping his composure during the Oscars. Now, a lot of people say he wasn't a man and he should, you know, did this, did that. He's a punk, all this. I don't believe that. Another thing that I've heard is people are saying, well, why is he leaning in? Why is Chris Rock leaning in and turning his head and smiling? I don't know. Neither does anybody else. We can all assume, right? So here's my two cents. Have you ever been in a in a in a place that's kind of loud? You know what I mean? You may be with a friend or somebody and they want to tell you something. What do you do? You lean over, right? You may even turn your ear into the direction of their mouth, right? So in my opinion, it could have been when Chris Rock saw Will approaching him. He knew he wasn't happy, but he probably thought that he was going to say something to him in his ear, which is why, and it would make sense for him to lean forward, turn his head, and nervously smirk. He was not expecting to be hit, in my opinion. But you know what? Enough of what I think. Let's hear about what Judge Joe Brown had to say, girl, because he told Jada's ass, ah, let's get into it. Oh, and still says, y'all do know Jada is sick, right? She's something, honey. Um, well, she, she shouldn't have started that, and she had no business trying to simp her boy out to get him to act like a goddamn fool on national TV. Right. Next thing, First off, before she says a goddamn thing, sick or otherwise, she better explain how she got on national media bragging about sleeping with her son's friend in their house. Yeah. Um, Gloria says they not, can't... Not just somebody she met, but her son's friend. And considering the proclivities Under of the 25. son, that says a whole lot. Under 25... And you sleep in your husband's house or your marital house with one of your son's friends. Bitch, you better get your goddamn polluted ass together. Ain't got shit to do with you being sick. Um, polluted pussy. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Not me. Um, Goddamn. <laughs> Thank you. It's actually the joke comes from all of what flows from this. See, I, I'm look, I can be a comedian too, goddammit. 
But I, I'm hardcore, and I don't like to do it on this kind of day. It's for me. I like it to close the environment, a nightclub. You bomb-ass motherfucker. You just mad because she get more pussy than you is. And she upset trying to get you to prove that it ain't no big thing that you get more dick than she is. So, I mean, uh, damn, what's wrong with you? Right, it's like they're competing against each other. Competing to see who's going to get the... Most of the opposite of what they supposed to get. Your kids all goddamn dressed wearing freaks because they've been peeping down the second floor on the stairwell to watch you out in free parties out in your living room and then you do still. Come on now. Uh, Gloria says they cancel Kanye but praise Will. Make it make sense. Yeah. Kanye trying to keep his daughter off of TikTok because Kim Kardashian keeps putting her on TikTok thinking it's cute. This man, you know, he he well, he are, he's already bipolar. He has to take a pill a day, so he's really going through it. But oh, Will Smith, shout out to Young Black and Healthy. She had Judge Joe Brown on her page, and that is what he had to say. Chow polluted. Did he say Jada had a polluted ass? <laughs> Shout out Judge Joe Brown. Hey, listen, everybody has an opinion. I just gave you mine. I really feel like, you know, Jada, she should have at the least escorted her man out. My understanding was that they asked Will to leave and he said he didn't want to. She, as the woman, as the wife, should have escorted her husband out of that building because she absolutely has that type of control because that's why, in my opinion, Things went the way they went in the first place. It was all her, all her. And then to go to the after party and all this, that, listen, none of it was right. Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey sounded off and said that he would have got up the next morning and told everybody, let everybody know that I'm suing, I'm a sue his ass for $200 million. That's what Jim Carrey had to say. And you know what? He's right. This story ain't going away no time soon. I don't think it'll ever go away. This is going down in history. Chris Rock, he did an outstanding thing for any other man that would stand there and say or feel like in that moment, he would have swung back, struck back, all this, all that. You, sir, you, sir, are the reason our black people and our black men will forever be called niggas. Have a good day.